Alright, oh, everyone, welcome aboard. Uh, I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... First Mate Rick here, at your service. And, uh, well, I hope the, the freaking game should work this time, so let's start it up. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be trying to stream MDK2 again. Uh, this time, actually, the... Uh, there it is. The GOG version, which, well... One of the problems that we had with the Steam version is that apparently the launcher wasn't included with it. So, yeah, that was in part why it kept try crashing when you tried to exit the, the video options. So, yeah, this one actually has that stupid launcher, so let's go. And should be catching any? There we go. There we go. All right. Yeah, welcome to MDK2. Now give me a second to move this to a better position because for some reason it gets put into the absolute corner of the movie, of the screen. And before the before the game can get into a demo, let's actually start because the demo seems to be breaking OBS. Medium? Uh, all right. Kurt Hectic never wanted to be a hero. He was content with his life and wanted to live out his years in quiet, dignified anonymity. Sadly, it was not to be. Kurt was employed as a janitor for Dr. Fluke Hawkins, eccentric man of science. The messes were large, but the pay was good. So when Hawkins left, Kurt followed. Little did he know what was to come. The doctor had wished for a place away from his detractors, away from those that thought him mad. With janitor in tow, he left the earth vowing to return only when his genius was proven. The greatest of the doctor's inventions in exile was the six-legged canine, Max. Max was the perfect assistant, and his appreciation of firepower made him a fine watchdog as well. All was peaceful until the invasion. Aliens from a strange dimension attacked the Earth, arriving on energy streams and landing great mind crawlers to destroy everything in their path. The forces of Earth were helpless before the onslaught. Dr. Hawkins had to act. Kurt was outfitted in an untested coil suit and sent to try and disable the machines. He was reluctant, but he had no choice. He was the Earth's last hope. Kurt fought valiantly, driving to the very heart of the invasion. There, he challenged the alien leader, a grotesque creature named Gunter Glut. And with Max's aid, Kurt was victorious. As their leader fell, the invasion crumbled and the aliens retreated, their tails between their legs. In their wake, they left the Earth battered, despoiled, even ruined, but not beaten. No, not beaten. Now, with the aliens routed and order restored, our heroes can return to their normal everyday lives. Or can they? Only time will tell. Come toast, Kurt. You've done well. Everything's Jake for sure. Uh, yeah. Well, whatever. Don't sell yourself short. Those aliens never knew what hit them. A major setback for them, I'm certain. Yeah, I'm glad it's over. Yes, it's all over. <laughs> I just knew it. Mine crawler in sector eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Five three zero. Oh. Good gravy! That's Edmonton. Well, Kurt, I hope you're up to saving the world one more time, eh? You sure are quick to send me down. You're the man for the job. Max and I will help if we can, but for now, it's up to you. Jinkies, I'm so proud. Proud, but from his walk cycle, not in much of a hurry. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. Uh, yeah, we'll get to talking once we are actually down on the ground with this. Because I've discovered quite a few things about this game that actually make a lot of sense in hindsight. Oh. Uh. And here we go. This is the, I believe, the only time in the game that we'll actually get to do this, where we're actually diving towards a mine crawler, which is, well, it's just steamrolling entire fucking city blocks. <laughs> Uh, let's see, yeah, the, well, the rockets, they home in on us, though that would make them more missiles. 
I'm, I think the ye yellow shots are blind fires, so I'm not sure what the blue ones are. And there we go. Aboard the alien mine crawler. Five past nine. Before you begin your assault, Kurt, I've got to refresh your memory on how to use the coil suit. Use your directional keys to move around. Try pressing two buttons at the same time for diagonal movement. Use the mouse to look both up and down and turn from side to side. Once you're comfortable moving about, stand by the arrow in the center of the room and face the exit. This can all be skipped if you want by just shooting that thing there. But let's actually do it for the, the doctor's dialogue. This is where we begin with the shooting. What? Use the fire button to fire your chain gun and aim with the mouse. Destroy those targets in front of the exit. <laughs> what do you do that? I got some more water. Okay. It's really fast for some reason. I've placed a grenade somewhere close by. Walk over to it and add it to your inventory. Right. Now to throw it. Hit the use item button. There we go. I've changed that to R. It will also explode on contact. Now, let's learn to jump and use your parachute. Look for the lowest floating platform in this room. Run toward it and jump on it by pressing the jump button. Now, jump to the platform closest to you. There. Try a parry jump to the next platform. Press and hold both the jump button and the forward button to glide to your target. Uh, Try jumping onto that nearest platform, Kurt. You'll notice you can't land feet first on that one, but you can jump high enough to grab onto the ledge and pull yourself up. And <laughs> we fail at the tutorial jump. Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, Kurt Hectic here, who's actually na is apparently named after a musician with his first name and and it, and it, right. it, it, Enough jumping around, lad. I've turned on a fan in the middle of the room. Stand on it and open your parachute. So how the hell are you op activating systems in this thing, Doctor? By holding your parachute open in the updraft, you'll be able to reach the large platform above you. Now let's teach you how to use your sniper scope. First, get the sniper grenade by bumping into it. Stand by the arrow with the edge facing the exit. Press the sniper mode button to enter sniper mode. Use the what? to look around. Press forward and back to zoom in and out. You can strafe in sniper mode while your fire button shoots your gun. Shoot the two small targets near the door. Again, we could just shoot that thing and end it. But yeah, just to show everything that can be done. This thing actually can zoom in a hell of a lot, as you can see. Name and of musician. Okay. Perfect time for the beat to kick in, huh? Yep. And also, sniper grenade. Yep. What? And here we have our first enemy. I don't actually know if these guys get names. There is a manual that comes along with the GOG version. Oh yeah, simple enough. That's the only time that actually happens. These guys will lead their shots, so you will have to dodge around. And you could see its health were, was in the upper left uh, corner of the screen. Which is always useful for keeping track of enemy health. Uh, that is one of the most basic enemy types that will come across. Along with these. Also... I don't know I told you the first time it's doing that, that I am breaking out this game I've seen in the magazines. Yep. How? There's another game that has a similar hero with, with similar oh. helmet, except his helmet covers his entire face and he, well, when he glides, he actually looks like a damn pterodactyl. <laughs> okay. That could be from the original MDK, actually. And yeah, yeah perhaps that thing... Were... Yeah, go on. Go. Uh, that thing that we blew up, that's actually, uh, <clears throat> that was actually an enemy spawner. 
uh, unless you destroy them, they will continuously keep spawning. Ah. Up to a certain uh, amount, it, but yeah. Yeah, maybe I saw you reach MDK for... From what I saw, little, very little of the demo, and from what little I saw in magazines of that one, it's, it seemed less comedy, more... Like Batman, in a way? Maybe. It, it, from what I know, the original MDK was a bit lower on the comedy, but still just silly as all hell. And we might stream right. that sometime. I've actually never played it myself. Well, the question is if we can even get that to work. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to try. Okay. Uh, we can use these grenades only when we're actually standing still, which actually leaves us quite wide open for that. But it, they do deal a ton of damage. <laughs> and I do hope that the music isn't drowning either of us out, but it's still loud enough to be enjoyed, because it, it is really good music, if you ask me. I can hear just fine. So on my end, we, we are not being muted out, at least. It is on okay. my end. And the audio should be about the same level as usual with streams. Okay. I hope uh, so. And, oh dear, I just realized I can't see my own, mine or yours uh, voice meter down below. Yeah, uh, let's actually try and fix that a bit. Uh, yeah, one of the issues that we had with OBS yesterday was that apparently for some reason it decides to break whenever anything, even OBS itself, is full screen. All right, I can see my mind moving. Okay. Wait, you, you named me Discord? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is record. It is accepting the audio from Discord after all. Okay, that in that way, all right. Otherwise, I start to wonder, do you see me really as uh, someone who spreads discord? <laughs> no, that's my job. Actually, uh, actually, when you think about it, ain't discord almost a bit of a weird name for a chat program? Yeah, uh, true. Discourse might have been a, a more obvious one, but that was probably already taken by something. Likely, do I would not be surprised that they have a sense of humor. And Oops. as it was probably made for gamers at first. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, I think we can agree uh, uh, that, uh, that some gamers can be rather chaotic. Yeah, and well, as is clear, these things are a bit of an elite guard. And especially annoying with how they're attacks can curve around objects to smack you in the freaking face like it did multiple times whilst we were still hidden behind the pillar. Aim for the obvious weak point. What? <laughs> Actually, I have heard... I have heard that uh, they do have a weak spot you can fire on with the sniper rifle, which I actually never knew. Uh, apparently their belt buckle hides their actual eye or something, which... I believe it gets revealed when they shoot. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, <laughs> because it, they it, very clearly don't have eyes, so... And here I was just used to shoot its stubby legs. <laughs> so I guess I was not too far off then. Yeah. Considering how short the legs are. Uh, yeah, those security turrets you can just take out with the sniper rounds. And as is very obvious, the game runs with uh, auto-aim, as long as you're looking in the general direction of your target. And these things are... I think these are just called probes. They're... they dumb fire. They're mostly just to... Uh, well, they, they can be dangerous in numbers, but they won't lead your shots. Okay, uh, should be two more. One there, and... Oh, why is... okay. <laughs> We are kind of lucky that that thing didn't start shooting at us. Not that they do too much damage, but most of the damage you'll get in this game, at least as Kurt, because you can also play as the other two characters from the intro. Uh, yeah, with, with Kurt, you're more likely to get uh, damaged from just the amount of fire coming in your way. Though, I guess that is something that could be said with every character in every game ever. <laughs> And there we go.
Uh, let's see. Actually, it seems to me, it doesn't feel weird to see a fan on an alien spaceship. True. But Especially this game isn't too realistic with things, because, well, we're flying upwards on just this, which could yeah. count for four yeah. big thongs. Yeah. Look, look, I, I could see them have fans on the ship, just these fans look a bit way too... Earth-like. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. This game was... This game was developed and released by Bioware, but they weren't actually the original you know, creators of the MDK series. That was actually Shiny Entertainment, who were also the creators of Earthworm Jim. I can hear you, Lil. Oh dear. <laughs> and that uh, Earthworm Jim is getting a new series, even. Yeah, oop, wrong button. Uh, over here, what we have to do is to use the side camera in the upper right corner to guide these sniper mortars into the... T <laughs> well, into each K enclosure would probably be the best word. And just blow them up. Though these guys will jump in after. And, yeah, something, th uh, something that's nice here, with these guys at least, is if they get hurt for a certain amount, they will go into a wounded state like that. that, that I always like that in games. Yeah, there's no need to uh, do that. I think I saw someone waving at you. Yeah. <laughs> Not so wavy now, huh? Okay, yeah, there are those two jump in. Uh, yeah, the more I think about this, it feels weird since, again, if it is a, if the first game of this I saw was MDK1, where it looked way more pterodactyl-like, it was more like Batman the Dark Knight or something, like, it was very really dark and grim. Like, you didn't, from what I saw, I didn't really think of there was to be any humor, just grim darkness and such, you know, yeah. edgy and, and so on. Uh, the look does be, uh, does undercut it. it. It is very gothic style from everything I've seen and heard, but there is still a certain amount of humor and just plain silliness in it. Though this yeah, game I does take it up a bit. Yeah, I probably just miss it. For again, I saw a few, uh, maybe one or two minutes of a demo a friend had, and let's be honest, sometimes the demos were proper, or sometimes kind of so small you wonder why even bother if the demo is just going to be five minutes on a disc yep and we're supposed to go up here but there's actually a little something that a little something hidden up here yep, there it is it's, it should have an item yeah it should okay for some reason that item tag wasn't showing up but yeah a black hole grenade what i think um, you had that exact same <laughs> response when we did this on showcase someday or someday but i had probably also forgotten about that a uh, black hole grenade uh yeah um, uh, we are heading for the boss now and you actually don't keep items across levels so we are going to try and use all of these <laughs> almost fall back down And say hello to Hans. <laughs> yeah, he's the pilot of this whole damn thing. Okay. Uh oh. Minor flashing lights warning because. Uh, yeah, he's going to start shooting with those, like that. What we are supposed to do is just. Yeah, not that. Snipe these whilst we can. Since, as you can see, <laughs> those bla shots landing around us cause a lot of turbulence for us. And we'll survive these assholes. Actually, have fun with that. Probably a waste considered, but at least we'll get to show it off. And it does take quite a long time to set off. But that's because it will just kill anything that gets sucked into it. And if we get close enough, we're... <laughs> that was on the... That was a bit of an on there. 
anti-climax with it going off, just pop. <laughs> okay. Did that shot miss? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm continuously straight. No, we did not miss that. Okay, it was just delayed for some reason. Okay. Uh, yeah, now we have an open shot at Hans. So let's deal with these two. There we go. And now we can take sh shots at him. And after a few of these... There we go. He gets tired of it and joins the fray himself. Okay. He mainly has two attacks. One of his is just to shoot. That's that stupid gun of his. And the other is a ground pound. Now let's equip this thing. Extra damage, but limited ammo. Also might as well show this one off, though the name probably gave it away. It's a dummy decoy, so enemies will actually go after that thing instead of us. As seen here. And this, well... <laughs> it's a cloak. And there we go. Oh. Hello, Danoon. Hello, Danoon. Uh, just in so time for the hunt to get bumped. <laughs> you go out there. Uh, Quickly, because... I was a... Doctor, the pilot is gone. What now? Doctor! If... What? Kurt, Kurt, listen to me. I want you to lie down. Take a break. Relax. What? I can't hear you. I don't want to alarm you, but there's something very... Behind you. Look, it's so secure. There's something behind... What? What? I... Turn around, you fool! <laughs> Ow! Whoa! <laughs> oh, I'm just too good for my own bad self. Hello, Earth. Who's your daddy? Why, yes, I am. <laughs> what the heck? Kurt? Kurt! Can you hear me, my boy? Doctor, we're not getting through to him. Oh, nonsense. Um, He's always been quite reasonable. Something is just blocking the signal. Not is what he meant. Ship? Hmm. We could destroy it's their power black screened? What? Oh, come on. No, 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 I've got a better plan. Hmm. You should destroy their power supply so they stop... Uh, no? Is it black screen for you? Okay. I should be able to... F Hopefully that Kurt? doing this fixes that. Kurt. Okay, that... That is going to be a problem then. Hmm. It's for, it's, okay. it's for, it's for noon as well. Okay. Uh, the game did auto-save, so let's try this. That is going to be an issue if it, that's going to happen after every level. But I think I got that to fix itself by <clears throat> restarting the game. That is going to be really annoying having to do this after each uh, freaking uh, level, but it's better if... than not being able to play this game at all. Yeah, however, the question is, if it works. It should. Okay. It should catch the game any second again. There, there we go. Let me move it back into a better position. Then we do load game. Autosave. And... Okay. It... It throws hmm. to us. Okay, that is going to be... Hmm. I've lost control. Let's see, let's do a quit. So loading causes it to freeze up. What if we... Uh, let's see, if we move this to full screen... It loses it for a bit. Can I reselect it? Hmm... I really oh, hope this freaking... Uh, there is 
possibly one other way that we could fix this, but we'd have to go to the HD version of this game, which is something I'd rather not do. Because oh, that yeah. is... Oh yeah, was it? And it's the same. Okay. But what's the problem with the HD version again? Yeah, that it's buggy. Uh, it's even buggier than the normal versions. Let me... Oh... Hmm. Actually... Yeah. Let me try something else. We do this. Uh, where did I put that? Technomage was the last time I used this. We moved to full screen capture. So that should... Be, uh, that's maybe that can circumvent whatever is happening with all of this then i'll have to turn this one off a bit of a reveal of everything on my monitor again and let's see there we go okay that fixes it so let's go kurt, back to the other save kurt can you hear me my boy doctor we're not getting through it all. oh nonsense he's always been quite reasonable something is just blocking the signal it's that ship. Hmm. We could destroy their power supply so they stop jamming us. No, no, no. I've got a better plan. You should destroy their power supply so they stop jamming us. <laughs> Heal? Good doggy. Now go straddle a torpedo while I figure out how to aim. I love surplus. Okay, it is. It, it, is it showing on Discord? It's showing on Discord. Okay, it's so we circumvented it. Is it working for you, Noon? Max, I've lost control of the torpedo. Take the controls. Uh, yeah, he figured out how to aim, but he didn't figure out how to bloody control this thing. <laughs> okay, that is good. Then we have finally beaten, well, the last you know, obstacle for now. Okay, that should have killed us. Uh, yeah, any right. contact here will destroy us. Luckily, this doesn't uh, last too long. Good news uh, for Nuin. Nuin confirms it's working. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I was I was really getting worried there that this game was just going to prove to be an impossibility. Okay, I wasn't expecting that to pop up on this as well. But yeah, that's the, that's from the chatty program that I'm using. Good boy, Max. You've made it. Now, fetch those magnums in front of you by walking over them. Also, uh, something, that, that, something that shows that this game is somewhat related to Earthworm Jim is look at the heads when uh, the characters are talking. They, they're basically just sticking their heads through a hole just like Jim is with his spacesuit. It's... Yeah, kinda. Once the gun is selected, press the select up button to equip it, and press the select down button to unequip it. The special magnum I gave you won't run out of ammo, but other guns deplete their supply as you fire. You'll automatically drop any empty weapons, but I'm sure you'll find more. Your powerful weaponry can often destroy objects in your environment, so don't be shy when it comes to shooting. That covers the basics, Max. Sick em. <laughs> also, I don't oh, think... Th I think this is lacking in a lot of games these days, but just a little animation for turning. Yeah, especially for someone with the... Uh, what's the each word for it? DKT grade links? Yep. Uh, yeah, instead of going forwards, we're going off to the sides for a few little secrets. And yes, Max can <laughs> equip one of you know one, one weapon in each hand. This is not Minecraft. Wait, Wait I oh I for I forgot to change the bloody I forgot to change the bloody category. So that has been fixed now. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, sorry about that. 
Yeah, this game has been frustrating to get to work properly. And yeah, Max doesn't need any snipers to deal with the stupid turrets. But he'll also face them a lot more. But yeah, uh, welcome Santa, <laughs> Mr. Tadpole. This is MDK2. <laughs> okay. And yeah, like uh, Kurt, Max has auto-aim. And... Okay, that's um, guy. Did you just... <laughs> yep. Okay, some doors will be locked, which you can just open with by shooting those. And let's move on. <laughs> what the heck do you have against window cleaners? Uh, well, they did attack Earth first. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. Dear. Max Max is but quite a lot of fun to play. His focus is a lot more on combat though, of course. Right. Now we're gonna try to say something I've been trying to say a few times. Max somehow reminds me of a character from Earth Run Gym. <laughs> oh. Oh the dog. Yeah. The, the, it's not a, a corporate place, but the ears definitely are so damn similar. Uh, I wouldn't and be surprised only... if he was inspiration or a model for this. And... Or related. <laughs> I, only so I, I remember the dog, I only now remember that that dog... Um, I don't know why he calls us, so I just gonna call him... Secret Hulk Dog. <laughs> yeah, he just freaks the fuck out if he just gets as much as a foot stepped on. <laughs> oh, he wrecks the pain. Yep. And yeah, some doors we need to shoot, well, some door locks we need to shoot off like that. And these little uh, jackasses will appear frequently enough to be really annoying, but they're basically kamikaze. They're basically kamikaze zerglings, or zerglings are already kamikaze. And now we get some fun, because these guns respawn. And, uh, well, let's just say that Max deals, Max with enough guns, deals with, uh, he mows down enemies in the same way that a Combine Harvester would mow a lawn, uh, mow a lawn, excessively. But, oh, I just realized, yeah, I was what you told me about this. Yeah, yeah, he's really the only cat I have where, where you can, um, what the heck would you call this? What's for wheel guns? A quad wheel? A quad row. Are we gonna seriously make puns on this? <laughs> yeah, the game is going to make enough jokes on its own. True. But see, it, it is impressive. Yeah, this game was quite something for its time. It didn't get as much recognition as some other games that came out, like uh, Quake and Doom. Or, or maybe their sequels. I forget specifically when those games actually came out. But yeah, this is a really good game for when for the time that it came out. Okay. I can see that. <laughs> Uh, noon is lurking. Oh. And yeah, Max also has like an absurd amount of health. With <laughs> he has double the amount that Kurt has. But he is a cyborg dog. Yeah. Like he he is alive, correct? Uh, he is a, he is sentient uh, that, and sapient, that is for sure. But I think he is mostly uh, mo mechanical. And he uh, has decided to turn him to look like a dog. Yep. I wonder why. Uh, because Doctor Fluke Hawkins is a bit uh, a bit mad, you might say. Like, he just fucked off from the planet with his janitor. 
Yeah, all because he got tired for everyone seeing him as bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we will we will see quite a few of his goofy inventions over the time that we will be spending in this game. And I think we actually need to destroy those to get access here. Because those lights light up whenever we destroy one. Yep, okay, I remembered that correctly. Okay, uh, for certain parts of Max's levels we can just rush through. We, there's absolutely no need to kill each and every enemy. Okay, and here comes Max's second feature, his jetpack. We will be finding one uh -oh. of these in a, quite a few of the, his levels. It's also... AA okay. Yeah. He goes on AA batteries. Yeah, and car batteries. Uh, I'm pretty sure that those holes, uh, those holes in the wall will just give you a random item because I think they've given... I did a test of this... I did a test of the... Almost three levels of this game, the first three levels, and I got a magnum from one of them, I believe, instead of a battery there. So it is just randomized, I think. Uh, now, in this part, we do have to destroy all of these turrets, because the next level won't open up without, uh, well, without them being destroyed. Uh, but yeah, a, a bit more trivia on this game. Like I said, the original MDK were, was developed uh, by the, well, the Shiny Entertainment, who also made Earthworm Jim 1 and 2. Okay. Uh, but the develop this game is actually attributed to Bioware. And that's because after the first MDK game, they didn't want to do what they had done with Earthworm Jim 2, as in move directly from the first game to the sequel. They wanted a they wanted a break in between, but well, it was popular enough, so they they sold the. I'm not sure if they sold the IP itself, but they did sell this game, or the concept of it at least, to Bioware for them to continue developing it. Okay. okay. There we go. Some proper firepower again. And yeah, those shots are just coming from these jackasses up here. Up. I, I, I find it a very mixed opinion on that thing, like... It's good to, to give it to someone who wants to... who cares for it, but also at the same time... They'd rather sell it than make a sequel? It, it, it wasn't that they didn't want to make a sequel, they didn't want to make a sequel immediately after. Yeah, I, I understand that, just... Selling it? Just fit with... It sounds a bit odd, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm guessing they still own the IP because their name is still on the game in the intro that we've seen now. Uh, I, it should have shown up in OBS. I, <laughs> I'm being a bit too distracted to remember if it was or not. Uh, so my guess is they still own the IP. They just sold the concept for this game specifically to Bioware. And fun little fact, this is actually the third game that Bioware ever released. Oh yeah, I recall you saying that. Yeah. Um, and there's also another little factoid about this game that is of interest to us. Because, uh, do you remember Planet Moon Studios? Uh-oh. <laughs> A.K.A. the people who made Armed and... Uh, uh, Die in Citizen Kabuto and Armed and Dangerous. Uh, yeah, guess what Shiny, or guess what some people who broke away from Shiny after making <laughs> Earthworm Jim 2 and before this game came out, guess what they did? They split off and made Planet Moon Studios. Hey, why did they split off? I'm not entirely sure. I, wa I watched a video about it, but they didn't go into too much detail on that specific part. 
could have been some of the creative differences, or maybe they just wanted to go their own way. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Giant Suzu Kabuto can be directly linked to freaking Earthworm Jim. It kind of makes sense for... Like, if you think about it, this game is, and all the dangerous Citizens of Kabuto has some odd similarities with Earthworm Jim as well. Yeah, also in their humor. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, that's just... That's just something I found. I only discovered like yesterday or the day before. Again, my memory is bad and always failing. But it, I actually have to say I'm not surprised in the slightest that this game, Earthworm Jim, and Giants and Kabuto can be directly linked together. Yeah, by the same makers. Because those. Ma it kind of answers so many questions. Yeah. And you can actually <laughs> see. The similarities in art style and uh, humor. <laughs> yeah, these these are just randomly here cheering us on, and when we jump, they actually lean back in anticipation. Oh, uh, I should probably unsubscribe from that at some point because I don't think it actually does anything much for people. Uh, there we go. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, they—they are—they are they, just—they're just scene de decoration. <laughs> but it, it the, they specifically made animations for this. Uh, I do gotta, <laughs> I do gotta cheer him on for that because this could have just been a boring way of just platforming your way up, but at least they gave us some entertainment. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it kind of feels feel like a moral boost as well. <laughs> For morale boost, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Did I say that? Yeah, uh, you, you, I, you meant to say it, but you, you, you sounded a bit different with it. Morale it like, boost? It, yeah, it sounded... All, Maybe it could be me being distracted, but it sounded like you almost said more on boost. Morale boost. <laughs> yeah. I did not say more on. I, 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 I think I don't know that my own accent in entering there, but more on? Really? It could have just been me, me being distracted. I, I, I gotta take that. <laughs> I, I could have said before we thought it may pronounce it a bit weird, but. Yeah, the more important definitely is on you. Yeah, so I'm the moron. No, I'm not. I'm not saying that he is a moron. Yeah, I'm yet. saying that myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a bit odd there. That it dropped a magnum, and I, I, I shot. I emptied one magnum, but it didn't pick up a new one. Did it despawn that quickly? Oh well, we. We will be getting plenty of guns throughout Max's levels. And we should be getting close to the boss as well, I believe. Yep. So... Actually, just empty these out. It is a bit awkward to equip and unequip weapons. Okay, yeah, here is the boss, which is the bloody Rhea power core. Oh, the heck was that? Uh, right. Yeah, <laughs> it is just basically a big disco ball that we need to destroy. But I really applaud them for making the power core able to defend itself. Okay, this is going to keep spinning, and we its main damage way of damaging us is through us shining the light on us. Okay, so if we just stay out of that, we should be okay. And that's its last stage already, and we're down to uh, out the last gun. Okay, uh, 
Annoyingly, these ledges are just a bit too high to actually jump up, so we do need some fuel for that. But yeah. There we go. Wait, what? I will return in a thousand years. I thought we said 10,000 years. Max? Oh, who's my little puppy whoppy dingy doggy? Boy, uh, doctor, uh, please, come on. Unsecured line. Oh, yes, yes, of course, yes. <clears throat> uh, report? Mission complete. <laughs> Deployment speed lacking. Must grease pelvis. <laughs> Friction is distracting. Good job, boy. You get a special treat when you come home. Now find Kurt and I'll get you both back. <laughs> Sweet mother of kibble! Down, boy. <laughs> Bad doggy. <laughs> that laugh. What now? Yeah. More interference? But I've no time to flush the atomics now. Fun must wait. Well, hello. Our incident. Getting a little lonely. Oh, yes, actually, I miss my doggy. Well, holy dooly, who the heck are you? Swim, swimming. But you can call me Sir. Well, Schwang, if that is your real name, just do aliens wait until I get my janitor back. You can't stop us all, doctor. My ship is a hundred percent impenetrable. <laughs> Hull breach on observation deck. Intruder alert. Well, it's 99.9% penetrable. <laughs> oh, fudge. <laughs> just the way his mustache just droops. <laughs> <sighs> The has begun, Doctor, and you have not completed your personal defense training. I will initiate an emergency session in the danger kitchen. Jinky, that was most unsettling. You could have waited for me to walk over. Time is critical. Pick up the toaster and the loaf of bread on the counter. What? The toaster yeah. has appeared on your screen to the left and the loaf is to the right. You have two inventories, one for each hand, left and right. Pressing the select up or down button selects different items. Once selected, press the left select button to equip the toaster in your left hand, and the right select button to equip the loaf in your right hand. Now, smarty pants, when you have the two items equipped, you can combine them by pressing the use button. I've made toast! Delicious! Quickly, pick up the piece of toast and I will show you how to eat it. Equip the toast and press the left select button to eat it. Selecting the glove will unequip any item. Those are the basics, Doctor. Using these methods, you can combine many items into many different things, including potential weapons. Well, don't keep me in suspense. What are the combinations? I do not know what you will find, Doctor, so I cannot say. You are supposedly a smart fellow. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Right then. I'll have the ship under control in no time. Good luck, Doctor. I don't need luck. I've got science. <laughs> oh, I'm so going to clip the hell out of this game with all of its sound bites. <laughs> in the end? Hmm? Are you and the doctor related? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> this is just stocked with slocky <laughs> sci-fi stuff. <laughs> the two men, one TV. They... Let the let the whatever that is begin. <laughs> they came for wait. They came for space. It's an actual movie. Yep, for your brain. And if I recall correctly, and if that YouTuber that I saw the video of was accurate, that is supposedly the character 
from a, the movie that Kurt get it, got his sec, uh, his last name from. They were nicknamed Hectic. Okay. I'll, I'll put a link to uh, that video after this, but lastly... What the heck? Yeah, <laughs> the dog needs to go clean up the ship, but he still has enough time to dance. Okay. And uh, yeah, we can't just keep making freaking toast with this thing. Not that it'll do as much good. And it'll actually stick to services. Again, not that it'll do much good. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We have... I forget specific... Yeah, the bridge. Luckily, the ship's computer will actually announce where we're going with these places. Ain't that kind of bad? For, would that mean the enemy knows as well? Uh, it wouldn't do that for the aliens, of course. Here we find some duct tape, which, well, is basically a universal glue. <clears throat> we're going to need that because... Uh, yeah, the dog's gameplay, he is less of a combat character because, well, he has only 60 health. He's more for puzzles. Now, there are enemies in the green area, but we don't actually have a weapon yet. So we actually need to, well... Uh... Really? Ugh... <laughs> <sighs> But, uh, yeah, let's actually take a seat and a load off. And I think the dog needs to lay off on the chili. What by all gods and goddesses mercy was that? Taco Doctor, Bell. Aren't you forgetting something? There, uh, pants on, zippers up. I'm ready to go. Wash your hands, Doctor. There's actually a little extra here if we just keep pestering him. Doctor, go wash your hands. Now listen here, you let me out this <laughs> instant. Don't you dare touch that door. Look, I'm you. Let me out. <laughs> You let me out! Doctor, if you dirty my ship with filthy hands, I'll do this to you. <laughs> and yeah, he will just uh, straight up freaking electrocute you, and he will keep doing that until you die. Until you do this. <laughs> what the heck? And another fun fact, uh, the ship's computer and Dr. Uh, Hawking's same, vo <laughs> same voice actor. Okay, that is some good voice acting. Okay, over here in the lounge. There's a reason we wanted to get these pipes. And this hairdryer. This will clean out the tree lounge. And we make a leaf blower. We did need the duct tape for this though. So, uh, yeah, we have a, well, we not really a weapon, but we have a way to defend ourselves. Also, um, quick save. Now, sort of where you can make a, a dual wield flamethrower. <laughs> and I've never seen in a game a flamethrower minigun. <laughs> I don't know uh, yeah. the nope. game it was. Uh, I can't really think of a game that would have that, but yeah, this thing is really freaking powerful for a, a hair. <laughs> Not, not a real hair dryer, more a hand dryer with a bunch of pipes. You mean overpowered leaf blower? Yeah. The it, thing that okay. we actually have to do is get these jackasses over to the plant over there. At this point, I should probably, we should probably just call it the foe blower. <laughs> That's actually a good one. Okay, out. And <laughs> it is also, in a way, a correct term. Uh, uh, oh, you meant that, that kind plant, of yeah. plant. Uh, I thought you meant a power plant. Nope. 
Now, this can be a bit annoying with how much they bounce around and they do need to get into a certain proximity. But once they are, they will just go into position to sail, so get, get, the, fuck, get the, the fuck away. Yeah, they will chuck the nades. I think Seymour is very hungry. Yeah. Actually, have you seen that movie? Uh, I haven't seen but I have seen enough of it to know most of it, at least. Okay. Yeah, 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 I've seen clips and reference and the memes about it. And I've seen a review of it, but i never seen a movie. But it's one of those that you end up knowing about. My compliments, Doctor. Dinner was excellent. Eh, uh, anything for you, my leafy friend? I should return the favor, I think. Ah, uh, that toaster will do nicely. Very Transylvanian accent for some reason. An atomic toaster? By Jove, now we're cooking! <laughs> and, well, now we have the atomic toaster, which does things a bit differently with the, the bread. Yeah, this is our main uh -oh. weapon with the dock. Atomic toast? <laughs> okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Helium? Frono, I declare this. You're banned from approaching my toaster. <laughs> uh, you'll have to stop me first. Okay. What is it to do? <laughs> uh, yeah, this place is flooded. And, well, you know, the, the thing with people and electricity, they don't really get along. <laughs> okay, that was that was not on purpose. That, despite that being perfectly timed, that was not on purpose. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we actually need to get to the leak over there. And, uh, let's see. There we go. <laughs> Just some cola to heal up. There we go. Uh, wait, cola? Yep, the uh, Mr. Fizzy on the right here. That's one of our healing items. Okay. Oh, for love of. Now they should. Let's see, the duct tape should be what is used to tape this up. Okay. Actually, I should... Oh, yeah. <laughs> the doctor isn't too strong, so he can't actually pull himself up. Okay. Come on, get on there. Okay. Um, hmm. We should be able to f use the duct tape to seal this off. Uh, does it... Is it being picky or something? Or... No, I, I'm doing it wrong. There we go. I need to use it in the its same s slots. Okay. He's using the wrong thing. <laughs> in this flex tape. <laughs> okay, and with oh, that done... It was way before the flex tape thing. Yeah. Um. I think I could anchor something here. That is basically him telling that we need to actually we need to combine the cord and the pipes. I, I think. A ladder. Now to find a place to use it. And there we go. We will be using this thing quite a bit if my memory serves me correctly. And um, yeah, this is actually as far as I'd gotten into the HD version of this game, which I mentioned before, and I I will repeat again, I I strongly discourage people from getting that game. Though I wouldn't really call it a game, it's more like an incomplete texture mod. Because whilst it does upgrade the character models a hell of a lot to a practically an amazing degree, that is about where it ends actually. 
uh, all of this here, all the environment, left the same. Which makes the character stand out like a sore thumb that's been stung by a dozen bees. And you did mention also keeping buggy. a buggy mess? Yeah, I th I think there's a, a bug that will actually break it, which will actually prevent you from ta taping up the hole in there, so you can't actually progress. Who was in charge of the HD remake? Someone not too capable. Oh, and we've got combats. Now, the dog doesn't have auto-aim, but his shots do bounce around a lot. So, if you just spam enough, he will eventually... Well, for one, you'll decorate the place with to toxic toast, which will explode after a time, but you will also just deal with your enemies in time. And the pattern is the same with how they go, so you can aim. All right. Okay, music going a bit creepy. Would this mean you're gonna name a spell in Minecraft uh, Atomic Toast? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> now that you've given you me the idea. <laughs> okay, Wait, there I is. I did teach you how to make toast in Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, there is one more combination we can make with these. Nasty. Nasty. Yeah, <laughs> freaking Molotov cocktails. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. That way. Uh, but yeah, the HD. If there were a way to get the HD textures from the uh, MDK HD out of the game and into this one. I would definitely do that, however that would be possible, and where do we actually need to go here? Do, do we need to go down? I think we need to go down. That doesn't look like the area we were before. Okay, no fall damage, luckily. Okay, and in here. Yeah, the, the Jim Dandy is a mess, to call it simply. <laughs> And not just because of all the aliens roaming around. It's well because the doctor is a bit loopy in his old age. But still quite a genius. A loopy genius, but a genius all the same. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I am do also quite concerned what we might find in here. <laughs> well, we did also build this entire place, which well explains a lot about how it's construction with the random beams everywhere. I wonder how? Like, is it, if there's something that sort of annoys me is you have one scientist that somehow built a massive hidden laboratory or uh, spaceship alone. I wouldn't call it alone, and not just because he had Kurt. But if the doc was able to make Max, then I'm pretty sure he'd be able to make a lot of worker drones as well. Yeah, yeah but when I say that I've had worker drones, then I usually give it a pass for that would make sense. But I feel like there has been times where it shouldn't work for they didn't have anything. Like, okay, here's an example. Uh, do you remember when we watched Spider-Man? Yeah. How the heck did Dr. Octopus be that secret lab? Yeah, uh, you do have a point there. Uh, is there anything down like, there? It, it, like, yes, it has multiple arms, but... There was an underwater lab. Like, that, that's not something he should be able to do alone. Uh, yeah, it's probably supposed to be that he also had a bunch of drones helping out. Drones hmm. we never got to see. Yeah. Uh, why is but there yeah, combat it, music here? Like, if they have drones or workers, fine. But there has been times where they were... They apparently did it themselves without workers. And when they have no workers and do it themselves, 
that's when I get annoyed. Yeah. Now some jelly and a blow dryer. If only I could find that monkey. Yep. What? Okay. And we are at a part that is quite infamous in this game. Uh oh. So matter? Let me put up a save here. Because we have to use the damn fish here. It's up to you, Chuckleberry Finn. What? Find the security really? override switch. Yeah. We have to go through a maze as this stupid little fish that will die on instantly on impact. And there are enemies floating around in here as well. And I have no idea if we actually respawn in the same place or just completely randomly. So, yeah. We're just going to have to find that security override through sheer freaking luck. Dear. And yeah, that's how easy you die. Uh, yeah. Shockleberry fit. That, <laughs> that I get that preference instantly. <laughs> Huckleberry Finn. Yeah, and there was a there was a show that came very way too often on some kid morning shows and on uh... Cartoon Network. I don't think even in uh... Or did they air in the Cotton Network as well? For, I remember it coming airing a lot on Fox Kids. Uh, could be. It was a Hanna Barbera uh, show, I recall. One of their many ones. And this is actually where we started, I think. Okay. Wait, Not too what? useful. Hold because on. Because it's a dead end. It was a Hanna Barbera show. I, yeah, bl blue dog with black ears and such. No. Uh, not to about that dog. I didn't even know what his name was. I thought about Huckleberry Finn. Uh, the blue dog was Huckleberry Finn. Okay, we talk there's another show talking about an, an, a character called uh, Huckleberry Finn. That was a, a boy who ran away with a slave. Okay, In that's the one I certainly know. Is that the blood? I only remember it's the bloody override switch. Yeah, the only reason I remember that character for is based on a historical book. It's because that song is stuck in my head. <laughs> okay, that I was actually expecting to have bloody stuck on there for at least ten minutes or so, but <laughs> no, we just it, it's probably just a random response that's mess up you and mess you up the most in that. But yes, yeah, so, it, so it, it basically was just go right from the entry and you'll get it. Okay. okay. But, uh, all right, don't forget. Uh, this show is basically one of those... I think it was American and Japanese animators who worked together to make this histor uh, cartoon based on uh, some book series or something. Okay. And it's very, uh, as I said, I did say slaves, and yeah, I think that tells you which time period it took place in. Yep. I think if the book was an anti-slave message, which is, yes, slave is bad, I agree. But it's also one of those, when I grew old, I feel like, should you that really been aired on Fox Kids? Hmm. Like, it, it if you think about it, it's a very... Oh dear. Right, yep. I want to say, very... A cartoon with a very serious tone. Yeah, and if you... You can actually see its eye when it's... It, there actually is a bloody eye in the belt, belt buckle. I don't think that's a belt buckle, Helian. It's... <clears throat> yeah, it's probably just a... it's probably a shield. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, there! Okay, I, I looked at the wrong place. Oh, wait, that means that what I looked at most has been the mouth. Oop. 
quickly hide because our Molotovs are out. Wait. I think that means that the belt buckle is not a belt buckle. It, it's his <laughs> goggle. <laughs> yeah, goggle singular. Also, jetpack underwear, really? Jetpack underwear. <laughs> Oh and no, I, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen that as a trope on some old <laughs> cartoons, and I always disliked it. Yes, but the idea sounded so uncomfy. And yeah, I guess the dock has a, a thing for oversized mechanics. Oh, bravo, doctor. Now you've done it. No, no, no! What the? Yeah, that was the air bucket. Uh, no, I don't want these ones. No. Uh, there we go. And that is how we survive getting sucked out into space. The literal magnet boots and the fishbowl. What the heck? That thing leads its shots, so we need to be careful with that. I do like the deformation damage uh, texture that leads behind. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, this just reads Jim Dandy. Just where the hell he got that name from, actually. Jim, Earthworm Jim. Then where the hell did Dandy come from? Might that be Earthworm Jim's secret last name? I don't know. Hmm. I'll actually have to. It could just be that it's random. Uh, oh yeah, it reminds me. They all make a new Earthworm Jim uh, series. That bit more animated. Uh, yeah, I heard there was also yeah, it's also something from that YouTuber that I watched recently. Uh, there was going to be, or there were plans for an Earthworm Jim movie back in the day, uh, but that got cancelled. But there was also plans for an MDK movie, but that hey, also got cancelled. Yeah. Uh, oh, MDK movie. Yep. <laughs> He's streaming it. <laughs> and from what I've uh, what. Uh, what the creators, or at least the original uh, creator of Max and, yeah, no, not Max, the concept art, the creator of the original concept art that led to the, you know, to MDK and indirectly to this, he has uh, stated that he would be interested in making an MDK 3, if possible. Ooh. Let's hope that be a reality someday. I certainly do. They, they will have to find Don't new voice actors, though. I presume. Do that! Alien interloper, get off my ship! Doctor, you're no match for my massive cranial capacity. The purity of my alien intellect will defeat your simian brain. Besides, I'm published in over 5,000 systems across the galaxy. Listen here, balloons for brains. I read your paper on hydrocapacitors, and there was only one way to describe it. Boring! Well then, how about a little schooling? Okay, see you later sometime noon. <laughs> and sleep well. Be safe, noon! Okay. And uh, yeah, this is our boss for our hawking, is the B <laughs> BFB, which. It, oh, it's not. Ow, it's never actually said what it stands for, but let's just go with what hawking said and balloon for brains. Nope. Oh. Yeah, he'll send up these little homing suckers. Uh, what we have to do is to activate the machine uh, when it's in its uh, path. So, basic stupid <laughs> villain uh, stuff. Oh, I mistimed that. Just wait for him to go in there. Yeah. And there we go. <laughs> For some reason, the dock has a, blo a, a bloody uh, 
particle accelerator with a view of space. <laughs> These again. This. There we go. No, that was one of the bombs he threw. Okay. I... Did we catch him again there, or...? Hmm. Either way, activating that one. You'd think with a creature with supposedly... Superior intelligence would know would know a better weapon than bloody cartoon bombs. Well, sometimes the simplest option is the best. Oh, oh we might die here. Oh, that's actually not healing. I think that was a miss. Yeah, that, that was a miss. Or did it shield break? Uh, I think I think the same voice actor as Hawking's also voiced the BFB. There we go, that's better. Uh, oddly enough, the voice actor for uh, Max isn't listed on IMDb. Or at least not identified. There is only five voice actors on this game. Uh, so it has to be one of them. Uh, okay, yeah, we can only take, like, one more hit or so. Should have been more careful with the healing items. Hey, voice actors, it is impressive. Uh, no, that was poor timing with the quick save. Uh-oh. Uh, that might actually kick us back quite a bit. <laughs> or just getting st uh, stuck in a death loop. Nope. Dude, that nope. death loop is on you. <laughs> okay, it's charged, and he's in the way. There we go. One more hit should do it. Let's do a quick save here. Nope. Oh, hello, Mr. Fizzy. Let's get busy. Making this alien hella dizzy. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think our actual... Uh, I don't think the Atomic Toaster will actually do anything against it. So... Oh, he's in the right spot. And there we go. Ow. Computer, find my plastic janitor. This place is a mess! Kurt Hectic has been located. Transferring power to teleportation relays. Oh my! <coughs> they took the suit. We're all doomed. Can I go now? Oh no! We're not licked yet! You're back in action, Kurt! Uh, quickly! Back you go! But I... it... Uh, no time for blathering, my boy! Shuang has Max! Doc, I need a suit. Oh, details! If he can just keep his pants on... Our luck may be changing. Um. Did he get? Like I said, he is a genius, but a loopy genius. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I've heard that fanfare noise before. Yeah, I think so too. A little bit unsure. It might have actually been in King's Quest, of all things. I have never played on it. I think I see fragments of King's Quest. 
and people were talking about it, but I not really watched it. Okay. Well, this door isn't opening, so... But, yeah, the dock isn't done with the BFB just yet. Wait. Never mind, I think that's one, one of the new Requiem King's quests I have seen a little bit. But I didn't finish. I don't remember why I didn't finish watching it. Um, I don't think he's done all of the King's quests. Uh, I'll actually need to double check. There was a YouTuber... Ow. Oh, there's two more of the Fox. Uh... There is, there is a YouTuber, I forget, it, I think it was Pod Dugan, who did a let's play of the most recent King's Quest games, the episodic one, and I think they also did at least King's Quest V, but I'm not sure if they've done any others. And the thing about the new King's Quest, um... Or at least the latest King's Quest as of uh, September 2022, just to date this <laughs> this video even more. Uh, that that actually has a lot more value if you've actually played the old games because it ties up a lot of loose ends and gives more insight on stuff. Okay. And it might be that YouTube did was play it. This don't remember. Oh wait, I think it must be case of it was when I started watching it was very new back then still. He may have finished uploading all the episodes yet. Could be. And then I just forgot. But yeah. Paul Dugan, I def he hasn't been active in a long while because well he has a family now. Uh which for one congratulations for him. On the other hand though it is a bit of a his fans do miss him, uh, yeah. but there's still plenty of there's still plenty of his work to find online. Yeah, and because it is, is I, I respect YouTubers who can balance family and YouTubing well, but I can also say that, that it's not always easy to do. Okay, I forgot about <laughs> I forgot about him thrusting motherfucker here with his hyper cannon or ow. More, more bloody homing bullets. Yep. Uh, yeah, let's deal with these. Yeah, also let's quickly deal with that in case it pops out a new one. Those are some. Are those supposed yeah, to be an alien version of hand cannon? Yep. They're big motherfuckers, eh? Oh, walking artillery. <laughs> uh, yeah, but Bart Yugen, anyone who's watching, I definitely would recommend him to give him a watch. Especially his King's Quest stuff. Because he is an old fan of that and he does really know it, his stuff about it. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, back to this game though. Where Oh, there's drones here, or probes, or whatever they're called. Target practice, I'll call them. Okay. Yeah, this is a this is a big ass room. This game came out on the. Uh, was it the Sega Dreamcast? I know it got re-released on the PlayStation Two. So it, yeah, it, it came out in 2000. So it is a, an old game. And still, just what they were able to put out at that time is really impressive. I, 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 I would say that without this game, we might never have had Mass Effect. Wait, what? Yeah. Like I, like I said earlier, this is Bioware's third game, and though it oh. though it plays a lot different, uh, I definitely would be surprised if some inspiration, uh, some. A bits from this game helped inspire Mass Effect. Or at least gave them, the, gave them the experience to work towards Mass Effect. Uh, yeah, that is and the whole part of uh, it might be one of the many games that put Bioware on the map. Yep. 
like I said, this game, it it wasn't, uh, it didn't, uh, it was rather outshined or outshone by some of its uh, competitors, but it was still far from a badly sold, you know, a bad game or a badly selling game. And yeah, if they do at some point decide to make an MDK3, I will definitely buy that. Or at least uh, remakes that are not just a HD remake, just proper uh, remake or remaster. Yeah. Possibly. Prob that's not probably the... even been a bundle, because the first game is rather short. Yeah, as long as it's not a buggy mess. Oop. Yeah, but though I do fear somewhat that uh, there will there won't be another MDK2 remake because well the HD version bombed so hard. Which which means if they wanted to sell well, they need to not mess it up. Yeah. It also means they know who to not hire for it. Yeah, I, I will still admit that the. The graphical upgrades are really impressive in, a, uh, in the HD version, how few there are. So I would say I would recommend that that company be hired for making uh, textures and such, <clears throat> but not for actual game design past that. Oop. Okay, so those are temporary. Let's see. Some items up there. Now, let's activate you. Hopefully that one will stay on longer. Actually, it's easy to tell which reactivate and which don't. The, the ones that go out, those are just one-time things. These don't, so they need to be reactivated. Oh. Hmm. Okay, we can probably... Get an angle from here. Oh. Holy. And yeah, just again, how freaking big these places are, huh? And there wasn't a loading screen. Oh, not. There was a loading screen into the level, but not between areas. I am very impressed. And the way that glider thing works still confuses me. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're just going... I'm guessing the, one of the reasons they went with that was that a full parachute would block your sight. Yeah, like if he went uh, still, it uh, will uh, look like a pterodactyl. With wing and all. Yeah, and just fill in the space in between and come on. Okay, there we go, just made it. Now, this thing needs to be activated, but how? Or is it only active when this one is active? There we go. Simple enough. And what is that item there? Uh, just more grenades. Uh, not too useful. Uh, some... Ow! some life over there that we could use after this stupid little thing caught us off guard. Um, oh, okay, there's a super chain gun over there, but I don't think we'd really want to go back down for that. So what? instead, he said gum. Um, yeah, there's only one gun item, one gun item that Kurt can pick up, and that's the super chain gun. Wait, it's a gun? Yep. Oh, it What's a gum? <laughs> that, that would gum up the gun. Yeah, the, uh, now you see why we're a bit confused. Uh. <clears throat> okay, moving on. Okay, again, I am getting, getting a bit sleepy. <laughs> and I got distracted by something on the side here, so we actually do need to go do some of this again. Well and, done. And we we can't activate these things with the chain gun. We they need to be sniped. Hmm. 
Okay. I don't really see a way th that these are timed. But the middle one... I think the middle one stays on the longest for some reason. Or that may just be... Yeah, that may just be a, more of an, an assumption since we can't actually see the first one when we're on it. Okay, no distraction this time. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, we have some items here. Items are uh, health or, uh, yes, different sniper ammo for the sniper mode. And sniper shield, okay. Uh, what that does is, well, it, it gives us a shield, but it will limit our... It, it will, uh, if I read correctly, it will block all damage, but severely limit our sights. And this is a bit of an interesting puzzle. Because we need to go up. But these things won't sit still. Um, oops. Didn't <laughs> mean to activate that. Yep. Yeah, we need... These things create an updraft. So we need to stop them in a good spot for us to actually get across. And yeah. That's going to be a bit harder now <laughs> with this thing on. Actually, if we take some damage, it should start retracting. So, come on, throw. There we go. And still, I miss. It's not actually dealing enough damage to re really move away the shield, it seems. Of course, the very second that I put it away, huh? There we go. Oh, come on. The item Who jumped away. Saved? I, I kind of miss games having these special UIs like these. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, it, it definitely adds a lot of character. And it's uh, one of those, like, does a helpful immersion and it's still functional. And it poofs again. Is it really just not dealing enough damage to actually damage the shield? Also, even when we are in this mode, our model actually moves along with and does little steps to turn. And yeah, also holding the big freaking sniper rifle attached to our head. Okay, that, that was one layer lost due to damage, finally. Wait, wait. The sniper rifle is on your head? Yep. I'm so concerned. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> there's a reason Kurt probably looks so beat up, but that's probably because he's been taking sni the recoil of sniper shells to his face. <laughs> Yeah, I feel sorry for him. Okay, that should be high enough. Yep. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not high enough at all. Okay. And we still can't get a shot on that stupid probe. Okay. Gotta wait for it to come back down. Is that's going to be short, so let's move. We can't actually get a shot on the other. Ooh, that that okay, that would could be bad if you end up falling all the way back down. Then you wouldn't have a shot on anything anymore. Chick, come on. There we go. So it technically it would be possible to soft lock yourself here a bit. Let's put up a quick save. Move you down. I'm pretty sure that shot shouldn't have hit it, but it still counted, it seems. And oh, that one was way too up, up way too high. Yeah, it's a bit hard with perspective in this. I'm 
There, that should be a lot better. Yep. And we might as well perch up here and deal with this thing finally. I wonder if the people that made from Arena that makes me Guild Wars 2 uh, could inspire the. by. Uh, yeah, got inspired by the glider system from this. Eh, yeah, that's a bit too far back, and gliders are decently common enough. in media itself. True. True. Okay. Then we can get into here, and again, the, the cloak poofs away. Yeah. And we need to get over there. Okay. That should be good enough. There we go. Even enough to get some health back. What was that he ate? Uh, a peach or apple or something. And... There we go. I'm not even sure if we got hit there. Well done. Uh-oh. Uh uh, here, Leon, look at your health. Yeah, uh, 96. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's not the other way around. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, there's one up there. My brain dirt there. Oh, I activated the cloak by accident. Okay, catch. Yeah, that doesn't actually deal too much damage against them. Uh, yeah, I, by now I think the best strategy to deal with these things is obvious enough to just... You need to side strafe around their shots. And get them to crash into something else. Okay, um... We might be able to... On the other one, let's actually try and shoot its eye, if possible. I can't tell if that was actually dealing extra damage or not. I'm but they're gone anyways. Okay. Yep. Have more of them. And a new enemy type. At first, let's deal with these. Uh, and it's one of the little fart guys. <laughs> and they will try to take a swing at us. If we get too close. And... Oh, look, damn, damn, we are low on health. Yeah, be careful. I think it's the ball ball E that is actually doing a lot of damage to us. What? Yeah. Ow. And help her baby. Yeah, it's it has a hit scan weapon. Okay. So what we need to do is break their bowl. Seven they... health. Yeah, uh, what are you uh, uh, Gas entity? Wait, what? <laughs> Apparently Kurt's dancing is so horrible, the crowd goes wild and tries to murder him. Then again, they were, all, <laughs> they were always going to try and murder him. Oop. Okay, there's plenty of life up there, so let's quickly go get that. <laughs> I recognize that music. Yeah, it's it's a pretty stereotypical uh, Mexican tune, I I believe. Yeah, usually for a me uh, 
Mexican or Spanish character that are very romantic and, you know, heroic. Yep, hello. Or they're about to enter a bullfight. Uh, okay, I thought this was the way doom. up to the stands. Uh, what the? Okay, that's not the exit. That's not the exit either. Uh, when was the last save? Let's just do a manual save in case the quick save is closer. Uh, now, was this the one with the glove or not? Uh, That's one way to go out. Yep. <laughs> There's a Bioware tag on that stupid thing. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah just, just look at the... Look at the... Well, it's not going to show it in this angle, but... Oh. Yeah. Bioware. <laughs> of course it shows to get pixelated at that moment. <laughs> oh. So oh, that's the way back out. get worse. Anything here we can destroy? It doesn't look like it. Is is that really just everything to this place? Just a, a trap like that? Oh, why was this one darker? Okay, let's just leave. I I think we actually got spun around there, so we actually had to look around. We, we couldn't just turn back. What the? Hello there, in chat. Uh I can't read the names. Uh, yeah, the color and the the color and the darkness makes it a bit hard to read. Uh, let me. Uh, Prague Lamau. I th I think I've heard. I think I've seen your name in our chat before. <laughs> hello there. Yeah, hello there. How the hell do we get up there? I think we might have missed that. Oh well. Uh, yeah, welcome to the stream and uh, getting my tongue tied. Welcome to the stream, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Oh dear. And yeah, this is basically a this is basically a re, uh, a recycled tile from Max's level, but I don't think that happens too often. I don't mind then recycling a level as long as it makes sense. Yeah, it's not an entire level, at least it's just a chunk. So we just need to destroy all three of the spawners again and kill that guy in midair. Okay. Um, I'm, again, I don't remember or I don't actually know what these enemies are supposed to be called. Uh, but let's go with calling the small ones grunts and the big ones soldiers. And then the the big cannon ones we can call cannon soldiers. Let's see. Good call. I should have it a darker green to be more froggish. Okay. <laughs> uh, welcome all the same again. And uh, this game that we're playing is MDK2, made by Shiny Entertainment and Bioware. The third Bioware game ever, actually. Oh, Quite a bit different from their usual sort, huh? And. Uh, Oh, there, there, there's three of them. Okay, just keep dodging. Mm. Yeah, I definitely can't use grenades on these guys because, well, we'd be a sitting freaking duck for these shots. Hmm. I can't actually, um, off the top of my head, really recall many uh, games that use tracking shots like this. Yeah, me either. There's, uh, there's games with missiles and such, but not really energy weapons that fly ar around after you. Hmm. Okay. Keep going. There we go. Now we could have technically just run past them, but we can actually go up here, I believe. Because there's an updraft. Up we go. 
Okay, some more grenades. And a cloak. And a lot of life, which we especially need. <laughs> okay. It looks like some kind of meat. Yeah, it was basically a giant steamed ham. <laughs> Are oh. the aliens have that? I won't ask. Uh, oh. Doesn't most people like ham? Uh, most Again, do, yeah. Most. Mm. Most. There we go. Oop. That one took an oddly as a lot of amounts of shots. Why do these have more health? Yeah. Yep. Anyways, though, uh, how are you doing, uh, Frog? Doing well, I hope? Yep. Still not dead. Oh, come on! Uh, I'll take that. I'll destroy that. And climb our way out of that before we get pinned down. Uh, yeah, I, I guess these guys could be called... Uh, yeah, heavy guard? Yeah, guards would probably be the best name for them. The eye horn? Nah, I think just guards for now. Let's not go back into the pit. <laughs> I think... I thought there was suspect that you mostly shooting them on the mouth. Yeah, or torso. Looks like I, I'd stop and mouth shoot them with the sniper, but there's that stupid turret that's pestering us as well. Actually, it can't actually hit us anymore. So, let's quickly deal with you. And by the mouth, I actually mean around the groin area. It looks like they have the mouth down there instead. Uh, Wait. Oh yeah. Okay now. Okay now I'm confused with the design. That. Nah, just a weird alien with a single eye <laughs> on its belt. Uh, yeah, and weird pants. Which was actually the way that we came in now. Uh, Let's take a look. Question. And, and I how think long it might do be we have way. remaining? Uh, some ten minutes about, and I was correct. How does it feel, make you feel? Uh, not really sure. <laughs> Wouldn't say vindicated. But that does mean that we now know which of these three to actually go for. Or which okay. three of these to actually go for. Unless I got turned around again somehow there. I would be the least with the helmet. <laughs> and, uh, that's and, Luke here. He does have a yeah, name tag next to him. <laughs> yep, I have a name sign r right next to me. Uh, yeah. Wait, this is <laughs> blocked? Yeah, Drakir is uh, my co-commentator. <laughs> because on my own I tend to be rather boring, I, sign I find myself. <laughs> Drakir the Zard. Is this back That's again? That's a new one. Nope, this is not back. <laughs> Warm welcome. Holy. Okay, and these are single shot again. There we go. Got it, even though it was at the edge of the render distance. Uh, but yeah, back on... Back on the sniper helmet for a moment. If you take a look, the, the chain gun is actually gone. I believe that's... The chain gun is supposed to be the sniper uh, rifle as well. You just stick it on your hand instead. <laughs> There we go. I feel so... This idea sounds so uncomfortable. Okay. Now, what we have... I remember this, spa... yeah, this place specifically. But we don't actually remember if there's anything down this way. Okay, there's a cloak we could risk. Though I don't see actually a way of getting back over here, so let's not. 
Hmm. Oh dear, what we actually have to do here is to raise up the bridge. Uh, hello. Oh, there's... There's a spawner around the corner, isn't there? What we have to do... Is to swap over to the bouncing shells. And, yeah, there's activation orbs around the corner. Okay, deal with you. Yeah, see? Okay. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, dear. Was it hip thrusting at us there? Oh, hello there! Uh, why did name text so small that I can't read him? Uh, I might have to. I might look into upsizing those a bit if possible. But uh, hello, Atreus. Yeah, doing well, and you? Uh, hello, Atreus. Long time no see. And doing well over here. Yeah, we're making quite some progress into this game. This is the fourth level already. There you go. Yeah, I, I just hope uh, tonight I will not be awoken like I was uh, last night <laughs> by a screaming lunatic. Should I ask, or am I the lunatic? No, no, if it's someone half three in the morning screamed just for the... Uh, scream and howled <laughs> just for the fun of it. Okay, you sure they weren't a, werewolf, a werewolf? I was... I was not literal with the, about the howling. They were intentionally screaming and shouting in a way just to wake people up. For first... Like, uh, although in building here, for he was hurt, but no, no. He was, you could hear him laugh, go, whoo, whoo. Another sniper shield. Shifting his volume a lot, and a shock goal just because it, 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 no one, so far, no one, if he did that just to be a arse, or if he was high or what. Or both. Yeah, basically screaming and shouting in a weird way. First of all, he was drunk. Then they realized, no, he's someone like practicing like me, 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 you know, <laughs> something like that. It just was weird. Okay. Uh, what the heck is that? If you look at this place, what does it make you think of? Wait, is this Adria's house? <laughs> no. Uh, oh. Max, you're okay. What's going on? Uh, it was huge. Sneaky thing got the drop on me. What thing? <clears throat> that swang thing. Swang swing? All I remember was waking up strapped half naked to a steel gurney. It was <clears throat> humiliating. If he was here right now, I'd dream. Yeah, for what you wish for, Max. Put me down, you overstuffed eggplant. Speak, boy. Speak. You let go of my friend's dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Swang Swing is our next boss. Oh, dear. And yeah, he's a big motherfucker, eh? Yeah, and to also you, Atreus, it, it sounded like he was trained to work a hood, but you know, also at the same time, just it, it's not like he did a walking cool training, just for the tension of waking people up. It's, okay, another game I played in childhood but never finished. Well, <laughs> I, I hope we'll, you'll be uh, indirectly able to finish it through us then. <laughs> Because I played this game a good while, or a, a good few times, and do that enough? Shoot him in the eye or in the sunglasses enough? And yeah, yeah, he's throwing those little bastards. I remember those. Nope, not that. Okay, 
If I recall correctly, what we have to do here is shoot the hand that is holding Max. Ow. When he does that, we want to vacate. Let's see, uh, no way to assist has not played the first one, actually. But I am, I am interested in, in playing it at some point. Okay, just... Yes, so, but uh, if... Makes me wonder, is there a HD remake of the first one? Uh, I don't think so, and I'm not sure if that is even possible with the things. Ooh. Because it is a lot older than... than well, the, the system that it runs on is a lot older. So we need to be remade from scratch. Yeah. Okay, we re we need to back away to not get hit by that. Actually, can we just hit the... No, it's not active at the moment, I think. Yeah, I, I think we need to keep shooting his hand until Max escapes. There we go. And now Max joins us. Okay. Okay. Are you shooting at him? Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not really sure where we can really jump to to avoid that attack. Or Oh, we could probably hide here, maybe? Maybe. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Careful when you're taunting, Swang. Mother... I should probably take my own advice if I'm just going to get banged up by his little suicide things. I don't think Max is actually doing any damage. Come on. But it's the thought that counts at the moment. That's your Magnum, not not an Uzi. It's it's firing like an Uzi. Cool aid man, really? I don't see resemblance between him and Cool Aid Man. Oh wait, the voice. Let's see, still very playable though. It's also short. Might want able to get to it in a single stream, maybe. I've got Max here. Teleport from my location. Uh, Doc, I is that you? Who's my puppy, puppy, piggy, doggy? Who is this? Turn around, you fool! <laughs> Great, they've got the Doc. Uh, this bird's gonna fly, suckers. Schwang's gonna make another mess. I'm always the janitor. It's literally your job, Mac. <laughs> it's literally your job, Kurt. <laughs> and now we start the cycle. Well, now we continue the cycle on Max. And <laughs> oh. yeah, now we have to make our way back, and we can actually steer this thing forwards and back as well. Back as well. Oh. But yeah, I I'm definitely interested in playing uh, in streaming MDK one at one point or another. Uh, from what I hear, if you you're supposed to be able to get through it in like three to four hours, less if you know what you're doing, supposedly. Supposedly, he says. What the heck? Get your money, 
<laughs> Even alien invaders cannot resist the Macarena. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> uh, and that, that's actually perfectly timed because that's the two hour timer going off. So as awesome as the music in this game is, we are going to have to call it here for now. Uh, Oh dear. Uh, I've missed playing this game. It, it is just it, it's just amazing. <laughs> uh, and well, this is also the first game that I ever uh, found Bioware through and definitely could have been worse. Could have been bloody Ant Anthem that I found them on. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. That, that, that would be... Oh. I'm not going to pay Bioware for that, but that's more of they forced to work with a bad engine you see what they used yeah, I, we did want to showcase it recently it was just well audio issues it is the gameplay is still nice it's just it's a very shallow loop yep biomare but this is bioware's third game <laughs> uh yep. yeah, to give a bit of context since you came in later uh, this game was the original mdk was made by shiny interactive who were the people who made Earthworm Jim. And MDK was actually their third game, so it makes it kind of fitting that the second MDK is the third game that Bioware ever releases. Uh, it, it was after Baldur's Gate you know, 1. Baldur's Gate 1 was their second game, and their first was uh, Steel Battalion or something. I, I looked up I looked up quickly on on Wikipedia for confirmation on whether this was the third game or not. Some sources say that this was Bioware's first game, but that's well, maybe it's the first game they started work on, perhaps. But I can't confirm that. I'm no uh, gaming historian. For now, let's head back over here, say goodbye to another cool ass track, and okay, there we go. Let's move over here, so my <laughs> my messy so my messy desktop stays hidden again, and let's go look for someone to raid. Let's see. Okay, I guess we can. Uh, well, raid someone. Uh, I'm just gonna prepare the uh, the, uh, the cannons. <laughs> uh, let's see. People I have followed. Viking Blonde is. Uh, streaming they are still at their just chatting moment so uh, let's see what they post packs tail is what they titled it so they could just be chatting the whole time <clears throat> uh, then we have Grem the wolf who is streaming journey which is a game we've uh, played and finished then we have as for arcane who is back to streaming apparently they were away for a while they are streaming cult of the lamb and lastly, oh, of the no. people we know, there's Lil Tree Live streaming Stardew Valley. I have to say, Cult of the Lamb. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was leaning towards her as well since she made her re return. Uh, okay, going there, copying the title. So to prevent uh, typos. And there we go, slash raid Azra Arcane. Now, before we start that, uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you Noon, even though you've gone to sleep. Thank you as always for showing up. Uh, thank you... Uh, let's let's take a look here in order. Uh, yep. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Noon showed up. Uh, Nightbot doesn't count. Frog Mao, thank you for, for visiting as well. I hope you enjoyed the show. And Atreus, thank you as well as always for showing up. You are probably our most common viewer up to this point. And uh, hopefully you'll stay that. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're in competition <laughs> with Noon, but Noon is a personal friend as well, so that makes it a bit uh, biased towards him. Mm, I guess. And, well, as always, thank you as well. Yeah, uh, as always, Dirk here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And Captain. And, yeah, Raid started. Um, let's see. 
I don't know when I'll be able to stream next. Uh, we could stream on the weekend. Uh, I have tomorrow off, but the day after that I have another early shift. So we could do an early stream, like 3 p.m. or 6 or 7 maybe. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, weekend I also have early shifts. So again, we could be putting in early you know, streams there, but we'll just have to see. Um, for now, though, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Stay safe, folks. And watch out for your flying squids. <laughs> and the uh, macarena ring <laughs> aliens. <laughs> uh. Come on, stream deck. Stupid.